Good evening, I'm Greg Floyd. Liz has this night off. A Schoharie County family continues to push for answers tonight after they lost their dog and then found him at a local shelter only to be told they couldn't take him back home. Kimberly Howard brought you this story last night. It's gone viral. She's still trying to sort this whole thing out. Kimberly, what have you found out? Well, Greg, repeated attempts to contact the animal shelter of Schoharie Valley directly have gone unanswered. But as you mentioned, this story has blown up on social media. And today, the shelter did post on their Facebook page a press release about their procedures. They also made specific reference to this case. Now we're trying to get the word out to all pet owners so a similar situation doesn't happen again. Come here. What are you doing? Are you going to run? Thursday night, we introduced you to Alicia Van Dyke and her family. They lost their dog Manson in mid-September when he slipped out of his collar. Van Dyke says Manson is 13 and partially deaf and blind. We honestly didn't even think he would have made it because he's so old. Still, she says she told neighbors he was missing and got the word out on social media. But when a week went by and the family heard nothing, they assumed he ran away to die. So we kind of all just made our peace. But Manson was alive. He'd been picked up by animal control, held for five days as required by law, and then turned over to the animal shelter of Schoharie Valley, which posted this synopsis of their procedures on Facebook. But the shelter continues to not respond to calls and messages from CBS 6. Legally, they are completely in the right. Brad Shear from the Mohawk Hudson Humane Society gave us some insight on how this entire issue could have been avoided. Since dogs and cats can easily shed their collars, Shear says it's a good idea to microchip your pet and... Certainly a dog license, dog licenses, and all the research has been done on how dogs get home. Dog licenses are the number one way that dogs find their way home. Something this family admits they don't have. They'll probably have to pay a fine for that if they ever get their dog back, as well as the cost of boarding the dog. They could set anywhere from uh, from $10 a day to $300. They... Add to that an event bills and you could be looking at thousands of dollars. So it's also important to call your animal control officer right away if your pet goes missing. There's one in every county. Shear says call all local shelters too. If your animal gets lost, then really start looking for them. Um, I still recommend, even though we're all in online and doing social media stuff, I still recommend print out a picture of your dog, put up lost posters around the neighborhood. Now, when Van Dyke showed up at the shelter Sunday, she had picture proof, but no other documentation because the dog isn't licensed. And she says she didn't have copies of the vet bills handy. Van Dyke says she hasn't gone back to the shelter with more documentation since she was escorted off the property by police the last time. Mistakes aside, this family says they just want their dog back. Greg?